Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and it is Junk Journal Friday, and we are in a premiere, which means if you are here um, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, we are right next door in the chat room, come on over and say hi. We'd love to get to know you, and it's a great opportunity that if you have any questions, that's a good time to ask because I'm in the chat room and I can answer them for you on the spot. Now, every Feb all the month of July, we are celebrating Christmas. So everything that I do on my videos this month has to do with Christmas. But Fridays are going to be special because I am being inspired to do a journal based on the festive frolics kit from Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And we are going to be working with this kit and, and directing you to various links to go check out Tina's videos and lend her some support. She's going through a difficult time right now, and if it's one thing crafters know how to do is support one another. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to be making a journal using her Festive Frolics kit. I will link this for you down in the description box below. It is in her Etsy shop. It is a 27-page kit, and let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you're an ephemera nut like I am, you're going to love this kit. Before we get into showing you the kit, though, this is the album I'm going to be using. It's a three-ring, six-by-eight scrapbook album from the Paper Studio, purchased at Hobby Lobby. And I've decided that for my personal journals, um, I'm going to be doing my October daily and my December daily all in this type of album so that they're all cohesive on the shelf. However, this is not going to be my December daily album. This is going to be one that I play with with Tina's kit, and it will be in the shop um, just as soon as we're finished with it. So let's talk December daily. Uh, as I said, this is her Festive Frolics kit, 27 pages of goodness that you're going to want to own, and at a very reasonable price, though I will tell you, uh, and I know that printers vary, but I am on my second ink cartridge and printing this kit out. But I printed out duplicates and sometimes three of some of the ephemera pages. So just so I'd have plenty to play with. So keep that in mind. So this is one of the papers here with the music notes. And I love this in the background and I love the vintage deer. And then we have this one. Now, keep some of these pages in mind, and I'll tell you when we get to the bottom of this stack, beginning with this page, what my backside pages are going to be. I only printed these on the single side so you could see them. But these are technically the journal pages, and we're going to be cutting them apart and putting them in the ring binder. So we're going to be doing some crazy things with these. Um... I love that she brought in the roses in this, even though it's a Christmas journal. It's very vintage, very pretty. We make an excellent Christmas gift for someone. So if we're keeping these pages in mind, I believe there were 15 of these, 14 of these pages uh, from the 27-page kit. I love this one. But on, on these first 14 pages, I'm going to print this on the back side. So they'll have the pattern on one side, and then they'll have this uh, plain background on the other. Then we have some more of these pages, more of the fun Christmassy stuff. This one is an off print. My red ink was running out, so my red ink started turning pink, and my grayish tone started turning lavender. Go figure. And then I had printed it already on the back side of this one. This one I also printed, doubled, and this came out lavender, and I printed it there. And then this one you can see was starting to run out of the green into more of a bluish green, so I reprinted it. And I also did it on cardstock so I could use this for uh, clusters. Speaking of clusters, we have this fun page, and I printed this one out and a couple of them in cardstock so that I would have the harder embellishment to use. I love how this looks like angel wings. So pretty. And then there's that one. And while this one could be a half page, it would also work really well to bring this in just as a tip in. And then there's those letters from Santa, or to Santa rather. And then there's another one of those. This is a half sheet where if you bring this in, fold it in half, you're going to get part of this, but you could cut it here and do that. 
So we're going to be playing with some of the page configurations on here. Santa Claus. There's another one of the puppies starting to be in pink. I love the kitties in the stocking. I love the kitties. Speaking of kitties, my little timber kitty, um, I've called her my transient kitty, Fluffy, actually came up and sniffed my fingers tonight. I was surprised. We may be getting there. She's going to always be an outside cat, but I would like to at least be able to pet her once in a while. Or find out if it's a him or a her. That would be another good thing to know. And if it's a her, she's going to pay a vet visit to my veterinarian. <laughs> so she doesn't bring me more transient kitties. I love the postage stamps. I love these. All the smaller embellishment stuff. And I think I may reprint this one and shrink it to fit more because I've lost part of the tag here. But it'll be good for layering. Um... By the time I came back to printing these out, I had gotten a raging headache at dinner. And so some of them did not print. I wasn't paying attention to the page as much as I wanted. Now the neat thing is Shabby Dabby Doo Dot Tina is one of those that once she creates her, her pieces, you are welcome to purchase them and put them into items. Create the items that you would resell. You can't sell the digitals themselves, but you can make things with them to resell. The pockets. I love these with a the little ribbon closure. I love this. And there's one with the kitty. On a heart anchor, it looks like. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. But look at all these fun ephemera pieces. Oh, belly bands. We had some horizontal belly bands back a couple of pages. We have the flip down pocket. And a lot of times, I won't use these tabs to fold them and make the pocket. I will cut those off and add those to clusters. Because they really don't add anything to the pocket when you fold it. And like this, cut just this off and you'd have a beautiful journaling card there. And there you can see where my ink was running out again. So some of these I'll go back and reprint. I'll play with the, with the uh, borders a little bit better. But this is what we're going to be working on for the month of July on Fridays. So we have a lot of stuff going on. The other thing is, and I'm going to slip this into my folder so I don't lose them because I know me. Um, let's see, we've got the journal. We've got the tabby, tabby dabby doodah kit. We've talked about uh, the cards. I haven't finished putting this one together yet, but... What I want to do is, here's the crystal effects from Stampin' Up. And I did get the piece glued down, but I need a piece of thing here to make sure my... And, once again, I'm stuck. <laughs> I was going to look for bigger pins at Walmart today, and I forgot. So I need to put that on my Hobby Lobby list. There we go. So I can come in here with these with the crystal effects. Kind of paint in the roses a little bit. There we go, get it flowing. And add some sparkle to these roses. Gotta really squeeze these tubes, I'm telling you. And I'm just going to swirl around on those roses. There must be an air bubble in there somewhere. And I'm kind of swirling them on so they take up the shape of the rose. I'm not just putting a dollop down. I'm kind of swirling it around. So when it dries, it'll take on the shape of those petals in there. Now up here, I can come in and I can do just a plain daub on those flower petals because they're not a rose. They don't have any real shape to them. So that's another one that's going to need a little more. I may need to store it upside down. That might help. I'll do that. I'll stick it upside down. Okay, then over here we have the piece. And you know, I really like the way it turned out, but... I think some stickles on there might look even better. Let's see what happens if we get stickles on there. 
And the neat thing is about the stencil, about the stickles, is aside from to applying them straight out of the bottle, you can put these on a palette and you can brush them on with a brush. And see how this is going to let that piece sparkle when that's dry? And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do that in here with the snow drift. Now I do have some of the other snow drift stuff that we're going to be playing with later this month. But for right now I just wanted to bring a little snow crystal into here and we've got some ice drops here that we can add to. Now when that dries that's going to be a nice little sparkle to that. Um, tomorrow um, is Sack Saturday which means I will be showcasing products from Spectrum Art Creations and I'm not going to, as I thought, I was going to be making something tomorrow more with that pink Christmas pad. But my big last two weeks of June order came in Thursday, yesterday, today, however you want to phrase it. So tomorrow is going to be a Spectrum Art Creations haul, and you're going to want to come check it out because it is amazing. I broke down, spent more money than I probably should have, but I bought an entire collection because... I'm going to be taking a class with Maddie to make a book from Simple Stories. Love Simple Stories. And so I'm going to be making a book in a class with her. And to do that, I needed all the things. So I'll be showing that off to you tomorrow. Then Sunday, I'm going to skip this Sunday. There will not be a shop Sunday because I'm going to spend the weekend with Bob. Because he really, truly does go back to work next Tuesday. So, no shop Sunday this week. But then we will be back Monday with a Christmas memory decks. And we're going to take a 4th of July memory decks inspiration card. And we're going to turn it into Christmas. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I hate to make this one a short visit. But you know what? It's been a really long day. I was up at 3.30 this morning to set the video to upload for your Thursday video, went back to bed till six and was out of the house by seven to go get a boo-boo in Angel's window fixed. And I didn't get home until after three, ate dinner, wound up with a headache. I'm just tired, <laughs> just tired. I told Bob that today on Friday, as we, as I get this video done and I get the video for Saturday done, I am done for the rest of the day. We're just gonna sit and chill and play games and it's going to be a nice relaxing day with my husband. So with that in mind, hopefully next Friday's Friday premiere, I'm going to try and stretch these to like 20 minutes. It's just not going to happen today. So in the meantime, remember to check out Tina's festive florals um, Etsy kit down in the description box below and go check out her channel. She has some lots of stuff, and she just did a new mask-making video. I was really glad to see her back up and running. So go over and check out her new mask-making video. I think it's like mask-making video 160 or something like that. So, And we're going to be doing some of her mask makes um, as a part of her the, the Christmas journal. So you're going to want to come back for that. So in the meantime, remember to like, share, subscribe, and creative Christmas blessings.